My name is Imogen Parfit. I am a bodybuilding.com athlete based over in the UK. Today I'm going to be putting you through a glute and hamstring workout. I do bikini competitions and the feedback that bikini girls will tend to always get is that they need to see a bigger butt. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Although I'll recommend some set and rep ranges, you can really do with it what you want to make it your own. So, you know, if you're looking to build more muscle, then you may look to be dropping the sets, upping the weight um, and dropping the rep range. But if you just want to keep it more of like a conditioning workout, then you just up the reps, keep the weight a little bit lower. All right then, so let's get going. We are going to start off with a superset just to get the muscles nice and fired up. We're going to be doing some cable glute kickbacks straight into some body weight hip thrusts. Um, rep range that we're going to be looking to do four sets, 12 reps of each exercise. So for the cable glute kickbacks, at the top of the movement, you really want to make sure that you're squeezing the muscle for at least a second. You don't really need to worry about um, keeping it anything above a two second negative. It's about really focusing and powering the leg back up. And then with the body weight hip thrusts, it is about that squeeze at the very, very top as well. Again, two second negative, you don't need anything more than that. But at the top, you want to be squeezing the muscles for at least one second. We're going to do another superset of back squats into squat jumps. We're going to be keeping the rep range fairly low. We'll do seven squats into seven squat jumps, and that's because you want to be doing this particular exercise heavier. By keeping the rep range lower and upping the weight, you're, you're going to be encouraging muscle growth. If you're performing this exercise on your own, although I'm saying to go heavy, you obviously want to be picking a weight that you can still perform the exercise correctly and with good form. Pick a, a foot stance that you're comfortable with. I tend to have a fairly wide stance when I do back squats. The squat jumps, that's all about power um, and really it's just to, to really push yourself because after a big exercise, probably the last thing that you want to do then is jump into something that seems a little bit like cardio. Straight leg deadlifts, this is great for building hamstring muscle and again, glutes. We're going to be doing four sets of 12 reps. Really think about the movement. Think about where you're pulling from um, and at the top of the movement, you really want to push hard and lock out and squeeze the glutes at the very, very top. That way you're making sure that you're activating both your hamstrings and the glutes throughout the movement. Dumbbell walking lunges. I tend to do three sets of this, 15 reps off of each leg. We want you to hurt, basically, so <laughs> pick a weight that's slightly heavier. I like to pick a weight that I'm going to struggle with, and the, the idea for that is, again, we are trying to build muscle here, so you do need to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit, and you need to be doing something that you're going to be feeling. So, glute bridges. We're going to do five sets of 20 reps on this one. I'm a big fan of using body weight as a tool for exercising, and that's one of the reasons why I really love this, this exercise, is because you can get a really good burn just from, from engaging the muscles correctly. Um, sometimes you don't even need to add weight. With all of exercises, you want to make sure that your core is constantly engaged. Seated hamstring curl, this is a finisher and what we're going to be doing is seven sets of 12 reps with only 20 seconds rest. So it is intense and you'll probably find that you'll have to pick a weight that's slightly lighter than what you would normally go for. Although I love ambition, don't be too ambitious initially because after about three or four sets you will really start to feel this burn, particularly because there only is a 20 second rest period. It's excellent exercise to build hamstrings and get that great sweep on the back of the leg. So with this workout, it is pretty tough. You might find that your muscles are sore for a few days afterwards. So obviously you want your muscles to rest and recover before you then perform another leg day, more leg exercises. I train legs typically twice a week. Um, what I'll do is I'll split my leg workouts into a quad workout and then I will do a hamstring and glute workout. If you have any questions about this workout, you want to know the best way to do the exercises, then feel free to reach out to me. I am on Bodyspace, Instagram and Facebook. 
For more free articles and videos just like this one, make sure that you're coming back to bodybuilding.com. Thank you.